So today I want to talk about Nova from Soft White Underbelly, and people have been asking me to respond to this, so my take is that this video is Mark Leda giving the big F you, giving the middle finger to all the critics, because it's all the most offensive things that he does all <laughs> jammed into one video. He's got a barely pubescent girl on there, half naked, asking her pervy questions. And of course, advertising to the world where they can go have sex with her. As he always does when he has a 13 year old prostitute on, on the channel. He lets them drop the, their location somewhere in the interview. And of course, they may also drop their social media. Of course, for this one, he's got the comments turned off. So I take that to be very cowardly. It's one of the things that really offends me, especially in a case like this one where he usually does have a comment section. Now all of a sudden you don't have a comment section because you know you're going to get criticized and you know everyone's going to jump on you and you don't want to hear it because you're a sensitive little guy. Well, that's, that's cowardly to me. So he doesn't want to hear your, your comments. And, but better than that, YouTube has hidden the downvotes. However, with the extension that I have, you can see the downvotes. And the downvotes tell a very interesting story. First of all, on the, on the night of the 6th when I first looked at this video, the downvotes were at 7,000 and like 4.2 up. Then the next day, about 18 hours later, when I came back and looked at the video again, 400 downvotes had disappeared. And the downvotes were down to 6.7. I'm going to show you the screenshots for all this. And the upvotes had increased. It is almost as if 400 votes had flipped from down to up overnight. Certainly, I highly doubt that 400 people came in the middle of the night to change their downvotes to upvotes. So, very suspicious behavior from YouTube. And I did refresh it. It's not like a cookie thing obviously <laughs> the day prior same browser it had been a higher number so they're up to over 8,000 now so clearly a very unpopular video but you, Mark doesn't care why should he care YouTube has hidden the down votes so all you can see is that his 5,000 loyal followers or whatever are gonna upvote anything he does and He's turned off the comment section, so he doesn't have to hear your criticism, which he knew he was going to hear. And he's got an advertisement for this girl. You can go see this girl's nipples on his Patreon channel. Checkmate haters. <laughs> what are you going to do to Mark? He's going to advertise this little girl on his channel. Give you a link so you can pay to go see her nipples so he can profit from that. He's going to give you the locations. You can actually go have sex with this girl in person. Not edit out any of that stuff. Talking to her like it's just the most normal thing in the world. She's living this exciting, fascinating life. So this is what Mark loves. He has not a care in the world for trying to help this girl. All he wants to do is hear all the gory details of all the sex she's done. And put it on his channel. So this is like the closest thing you can get to legal child you know what. Of course, I can't say things like that, right? <laughs> I can't say anything. Look who's allowed to do what and who isn't. So yeah, fellow haters, what are, what are you going to do? What are you going to do that Mark's pimping this little girl on his channel? Probably getting a kickback from her pimp, which she says she doesn't have. Well, she does now because... <laughs> Somebody's making a whole lot of money on this video, and it's not her. So you are getting pimped, at least by one, by s several people now. But does she have a street pimp? Probably, but if not, she, she will eventually. She's already talking about they're trying to get her to do drugs. Well, if they can't get you to do it voluntarily, what's to stop them from just drugging you? Holding you down and sticking a needle in your arm, putting something in your food or your drink, so guess what? You're a prostitute and a young one. So you're going to attract every scumbag on this planet who wants to pretend to be your friend while they take advantage of you. And you've already said that in this interview. And you can tell how intelligent this girl is. But the problem is, all the intelligence in the world is not going to save her from the fate that she's already in. 
So the question is, how can Mark pimp this little girl in front of an audience of five million and there's not services and agencies rushing in to help her and help all the other people? Well, because that's how the system is supposed to run. It's everybody against her. Everybody gets paid from her suffering. So I wish this girl the best, but it looks bad because look who her role model is. You know, it doesn't start with Mark Leda. Her own mother has her own YouTube channel where she's got her daughter, this same little girl, with her legs wide open advertising. So continuing the work that Mark did. So what future does this girl have when her mother is teaching her that sex is for money and Mark is making her famous because she's doing sex for money? She wouldn't be famous if she was going to school and hitting the books. So that's it. That's my take. Mark is throwing this in our face. He's saying F you to the critics. I'm going to do whatever I want. I'm going to pimp little girls on my channel and no one can stop me. And what can we really do except not watch, refuse to watch it? I didn't want to watch that video. And I didn't watch it. I just listened to it, actually. But I don't watch or listen to any of the soft white underbelly anymore. I haven't in a long time. Um, because of stuff like this. It's disturbing to me. What others find entertaining, I find disturbing. So the downvotes tell the tale now. That's why they hit that downvote button to protect people like Mark. Because we see what he's doing. We see a person who actually cared, someone who was a professional, could in conduct the same interview with the same girl completely differently. And let's make no mistake, those little girls that come in half naked are half naked because Mark tells them to. He could just as easily hand them a sweater and say, put this on. But instead it's the opposite, come dressed to impress, to sell yourself. Make no mistake, when you have a little girl come on dressed like that and you give her location. So we see what Mark's doing. These interviews, as people say they're so valuable because they're giving insight, these same interviews could be conducted with these same people by someone who actually knew what they were doing and someone who actually cared. And it would be a totally different interview in a totally different setting. And no, it wouldn't get as many views. Because Americans and a lot of, we, we're raised to, to be entertained by this sicko stuff. Look at, look at what American entertainment has become. It's all sicko stuff. Extreme violence, extreme sex, disgusting humor. I mean, just really nasty now. All the innocence and fun has gone out of everything. It's just who can degrade each other more. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. So it's no surprise that you have a channel like this blow up. And as I've said before, in those comment sections, you will find the people talking about, yeah, I'm going to go where she is. Oh, yeah, that's where she sells herself. I'm going to go over there tomorrow and I'm going to pick her up. Talking about these little girls who look like little girls. You also have to wonder how anybody could possibly condone putting this little girl up on TV before a national audience, calling her a prostitute, telling all the audience where they can go have sex with her, doing absolutely nothing for her. And that's okay. Oh, and of course, advertising, where you're profiting from showing the audience her nipples. So Mark's going to send you to his Patreon where you can go see this little girl's nipples. And that's the icing on the cake of Mark giving a big F you to me and all the other critics. It's the great plague. It is the great plague. It's the great plague of child abuse that is ravaging this planet and who people like Mark profit off of instead of condemning. Because the profit comes from child abuse. They understand that. I understand that. Because without child abuse, you can't make a person be a prostitute. You can't make them be a soldier. And without soldiers and prostitutes, this whole evil system collapses overnight. It is the Great Plague.